Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Kiki Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. Yes. That's all that we all the time about. anymore. All the time, all the time. So let's. It's not our fault. Yeah, right. Disney, be better. Disney, be better. Then what will we talk about? Seriously? I'm sure we'd find other things. Oh sure. So let's uh, let's talk about Wish. Let's talk about its prospects this weekend. Uh, I don't think it's going to open as strong as Disney was hoping for. And uh, we've even got Variety saying that it's going to struggle against Hunger Games uh, prequel, which itself did not do very well. But it's still probably going to come in first place. The Marvels, though, is looking to come in like fifth or sixth place this week. Oh, shocker. It's not good. Uh, actually, I guess the Thanksgiving movie uh, beat beat uh, the Marvels last week. Well, that doesn't surprise me either. Yeah, so uh, I want to see that. I really want to see that. So we're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about people being like WTF with the ending of Wish. So there are going to be spoilers in this video. If you don't want to be spoiled, don't watch this video. If you don't care, then just keep on watching this video. I hope you watch this video, but you know, we understand. We understand if you want to be surprised. Uh, so anyway, before you get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, yeah, so let's talk about this first, the box office. This comes from Variety. Thanksgiving box office battle heats up. Disney's Wish struggles against the Hunger Games, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. What a title. You know, I just don't like it. Anyway. Yeah, it says it's going to face off against Hunger Games and Napoleon. Uh, and they said that, uh, you know, some of these movies are outpacing what they were originally projected for. It says, the good news, the bad is neither Wish nor Napoleon are performing like Thanksgiving blockbusters of yore with the Disney movie looking like another box office dud for a studio that had previously enjoyed an unprecedented record of success. Wish earned a disappointing 3.9 million over Thanksgiving. That's Brain only 12.2 million. Now that for five, they're generating 35, which is down lower over the five day period. Were they saying like 55? They were saying 60 something. Okay, now remember too, they're not mentioning the fact they put it out in previews starting on the 18th. Yes. Are they ever mentioning those totals that came in for that? Uh, Does that include those totals? I think it includes the totals. So they're yeah. saying five day because I'm thinking it's projected five day. They're thinking Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is Saturday, Sunday. What about the couple days leading into they that? They probably rolled. I, if I had to guess, I'd say they rolled those previews into the uh, the start of the five day or what it's made so far. You know what I'm saying? I don't it, know. Cause I'm just saying because it's been more than five days in reality. They had it out in the 18th. But the five days are talking uh, Wednesday through Sunday. And we're here on Friday, and, and it went from like, oh, it's going to do 55, 60 million to now they're thinking maybe 35. Yeah, they were saying um, they were saying that it was going to do, this was projected to do originally, it was going to do like, well, now they're saying thir 37 million for the three day, five day, 56 million. That's okay, it's so not even good. So but that, we're, we're into the, but Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that was the th three days already as yeah. of today. Yeah, and this is a recent. And article. as of today, what was the number they, they said? They said as of like today, they said on Thanksgiving Day, this is uh, today. This came out today. Okay, so on Thanksgiving Day. It only did 3.9 million. Bring its total 12.2 million. So the first three days would be about 12.2 million. Yeah. So previews Wednesday. For, it's yeah. projected to generate 35 million for the whole five days. That is bad. And that, so, that's, <laughs> so the, the other one that has the other projections isn't right because we already know it's not going to probably go that high. No, this was from uh, this was from a couple weeks ago. Yeah. So they thought it was going to go 56. The so, whole three-day forecast is what the whole five days is going to be. Yeah. that that That's pretty bad. $35 million for five days over Thanksgiving. That's pretty bad. Now, I will say that we had one of our writers review it. Mr. Milo reviewed it on Pirates and Princesses, and he says it wasn't, it wasn't the best. It wasn't as bad as people were saying it was, but it wasn't the best. I know the ending... The ending's stupid. I'm sorry. But the ending, should I tell people the ending or We're, not? We'll, we'll get to okay. the ending. The ending's yeah. stupid. The ending but, is good. Gonna... Um, you know, it's it wasn't as bad. It looked unfinished in several places. It didn't it didn't do well as far as the animation was concerned. They should have picked this aside and stuck to it, not tried to ma mash them up because it doesn't work. It's not just no Klaus. And, you know, that it, he gave it about a 6.9 out of 10. So the songs are really good. Actually, the Chris Pine song is one of the weaker songs. The songs are pretty good. The singing's pretty good. Um, there's a lot of fun nods to Disney. I, to me, I think that it, you go overboard with the the Easter eggs. Yeah. Um, from my understanding, but well, that that'll, that'll tie into the ending. We'll we'll get there. But they said, yeah, the Hunger Games, which is weird because it underperformed last week too. But they said it's going to probably bring in 42 million over the five day period. 
And it's all, it only costs a hundred million to produce it. No, I mean, that's not great. Not no. for Thanksgiving. No, Disney spent 200 million on wish. And then they're spending a way more on marketing because everywhere you look, they're running commercials for it. My parents were just saying today, we were watching, we were watching these movies on Vudu, and we already got or something. I remember they were watching. They got two commercials already: one for Wish and one for Captain Marvel. Yeah, yeah, both of them duds so, so far. They're running all kind. They're spending money on the marketing. Uh, yeah, yeah, like well, flushing money, but they whatever. Can, they can write it off, I guess. Right. They so said the one thing going for Wish is that recent animated films like Disney and Pixar's Elemental have started to have started slow and managed to stick around. Okay, a couple things with that though. Elemental started slow, but it was starting at the beginning of summer, and they ran it all through summer. Mm -hmm. They're not going to have that whole run for the season with Wish. I think it might pick up as people. If it isn't that terrible, as more people will hear about it, it'll pick up. However, I can tell you for a fact, one of the trending things with Disney lately has been when is Wish on Disney Plus. People yeah. don't want to go to the theater. They're already asking, when's it going to be on Disney Plus? I'll watch it then. I, I think any movie that you take young children to, I think parents now are like, wow, it is so much easier to just watch movies at home than it is to drag the kids to the theater. Cheaper, too, because you get the A kids, cheaper, the family, the drive, babysitter. the food, you know, get them popcorn and snacks and drinks and everything else. It's ridiculously expensive. And you're taking, like, Four kids to the movies. They're going to keep them quiet the whole time. They're going to have to pee. So yes. you're going to miss half the movie anyway because you're going to you know take turns with the kids, like taking them to the bathroom. However, I will never trade our daughter's first movie, which was Princess and the Frog. It was Princess and the Frog. And yeah. she was so excited that she kept standing up in the aisle. Or not in the aisle. Like we were like, you know, when you stand up in front of your seat. And she just kept dancing and dancing and dancing. Oh, we were in the dancing. front row, weren't we? We were in the front row, but we were like, there was there was enough room in between the seats that she could stand up. I mean, no one was in front of us, so it wasn't bothering anybody. But she kept dancing and dancing and dancing. And no one, you know, if she had gotten louder out of control, I would have stopped her. But she was being, she was, she was keeping it, she wasn't being loud. She wasn't being disruptive. But people thought it was cute because she kept getting so excited and she got up and danced. And then she was really scared of uh, Facilier. But um, she was, uh, she loved the movie. And to this day, Tiana's her favorite princess. But that was her first movie. Yeah, she, God, she loved it. Yeah, she loves Tiana. Too. If she had been disruptive, I would have told her no. But I think that's what's going on. I think people are waiting for Disney Plus because I can tell you for a fact, I had to do a story on it because it was trending. When is it coming to Disney Plus? The short answer is we don't know. Um, it could be, some people were saying if it, if it bombs at the box office, it might be by Christmas. I don't know about that because I think they have to give at least a 30 to 45 day um, time frame for the theaters. Mm. So it wouldn't be at least until whatever they owed the theaters was up. And then after that, they're going to take it to digital and where you can buy it on digital. Um, and then they'll probably put it on Disney Plus. So probably sometime early next year, like in the first like first quarter of next year, maybe. But I don't think it's going to be like Elemental where they gave it several months in the theater before they even brought it to Disney Plus and it took months and months. I don't think so because they had all summer for that. But I don't think they're going to get the same results Elemental did. It's possible, but I don't think it's likely. Yeah, and especially with the reviews. Element, Elemental actually had pretty decent reviews. Audiences uh, like this one, uh, of course, because of the Pixie Dusters. But yeah, you know. Yeah, so let's let's talk about that because that that is that is what this is like the Disney fan service uh, movie, right? It is. That's what this is. Yes. So there are spoilers for the ending. A lot of people are not happy because they thought that they were joking. They're like, nah, they wouldn't. They wouldn't do well, this. Well, they right? said that, that she's the most generic Disney princess s character ever. Yes. She's like, she's like super generic. She's like every Disney character, print, the girl character you've seen, like Encanto and Moana and all that stuff lately. It's just like it's cookie cutter. Well, yeah. I mean, people looked at this, even the designs, character designs and stuff. They're like, it, it looks like AI art. It looks like just give me a generic, the most generic Disney movie ever. And uh, this is basically what we got. But um, OK, so there are spoilers, guys. Just give me another heads up. And last chance to, to nope out. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. This so, is so stupid. So here's how it apparently ends. And people thought they were joking. There were leaks. That this is how it ends. Apparently, the uh, main is it uh, Asha, the, the main character, is actually the fairy godmother from Cinderella. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what happened exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, apparently, your hair is not the only thing that goes white over time. She, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? No, she turns black after midnight. <laughs> that's, that's what happens. Uh, yeah, so there are some obvious, like, uh, obvious issues with that. But here are the other things. Apparently the bad guy becomes the uh, evil mirror from Snow White. 
And uh, something, something with Peter Pan. I don't know what's up with that one, but okay. I, I don't know. And uh, then the goat is talking about how he's going to found Zootopia. Where animals can live together and wear clothes. So it's basically, well, destroys Kingdom Hearts for one thing, but apparently it, it ties all of the, the Disney multiverse together. And um, I don't think anybody wanted that. <laughs> did anybody want that? No. I don't want that. No, nope, but that's what they did. I mean, are we surprised? Not really. I mean, if I were to guess, what is the most Disney thing that you could think of? And if they didn't turn her into a princess, it was going to be something like somehow it ties into something else later. Because that's all Disney does now. Let's tie everything together. What do they call that? Synergy, guys. Synergy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah when Magnifico was sucked in, it should have his face being outlined as the mirrors. <laughs> Oh, my well, he God. He got sucked in. Yeah. yeah. It didn't show his face like it is. Oh, my God. How that character become the fairy godmother? She's white. Exactly. This is what, what they delivered for Disney's 100th anniversary. No, Disney also delivered us um, some AI Thanksgiving art. That's right. Uh, of course, like, they've been shared universe. In, 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 they've been sharing universe via Easter eggs for decades. True. But you might get one or two. Yeah, this and it was is like nothing but one giant Easter egg hunt. And it was like, yeah, and it was throwaway gags. Like they had in Aladdin, they had the beast plushie in the one scene. Yeah, they they're had, like, you know, know, yeah, they've done yeah. it before. No one said they didn't. The problem no. is, is they're like, like they overused it in this one. <laughs> the current footage of Disney trampling over their 100 year legacy. Oh, they really made the 100 year tribute short film just to trample over it in their very next major release. It's terrifying how creatively bankrupt they are. Again, at least it wasn't done with AI, or was it? That's we're gonna find that out. They're gonna be like, yes, we actually the script and everything came from. What's the most generic crowd pleasing? Yes, yeah, scar. Yeah, they've yeah. been doing this. And Again. No, no one said they weren't. The thing is, there weren't. No one ever said they weren't doing it at all because that'd be dumb because they've done it before. Clearly, the thing is, they used a couple gags or throwaway gags here and there, but this one was just like full these are of major them. plot points, and this they literally like, changed everybody's origin at the end. Yeah. That's like, come on. Like, I don't, very godmother pulled a Michael Jackson on us. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I, um, and a lot of people said she basically comes up, you know, we haven't seen it yet, obviously, but a lot of people said she comes off like the villain of the movie. Yeah, but, I don't uh, know. I mean, I, I, she wasn't that bad from my understanding, but very, uh, very, very not good either. It's kind of like, it's like cookie cutter bland. Yeah, people said this is the most like bland Disney by the, the by the numbers Disney movie ever. And uh, I, I don't know, guys. I just think a lot of people anymore, they're like you said, they're just waiting for Disney Plus. No, I'm telling you, that's what they're doing. They're waiting yeah. for they're waiting for Disney Plus because it was trending. It, so many results. It was like it wasn't just one. There was different wordings of several different. But basically, when is it coming to Disney Plus? And that's just telling me everything I need to know, which is people aren't going to theater. They want to wait to just wait for Disney Plus. Yes. That's what they're going to do. Yep, and Disney trained them to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, they did, and especially with Pixar, because, you know, they basically relegated Pixar to, like, direct-to-DVD status. And I still think they're going to merge the studios. I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't see the point in having two separate studios producing the same kind of content, mm -mm. and none of it's performing very well. So you just shove them together, you know, put them together, and what do you got? Bip -a -dee -bop -a -dee -bop. Oh, I see what you did there. Oh, there's an Easter egg in our video. <laughs> I'm the fairy godmother, bitches. What do you want? <laughs> um, so there we go, guys. Wish not looking too good. Disney wishes their box office uh, was going to be better. And uh, it's just another dud. I mean, look, they suck in... They suck at making movies now, and the investors are going to be like, next quarter, they'll be like, what the hell? What the hell? Like, all the movies you released last year, with the exception of, like, Guardians, they all failed. Like, that's not good, no. Bob. That's not good. Oh, it's Bob Chapek. We're going to bring creativity back, guys. It's okay. AI Frozen art. Frozen 4 <laughs> and Toy Story 5 and a bunch of live-action reimaginings. Oh, my God. Let's wrap this up. Mm -hmm. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, rants. We'll talk later. Bye.